friends, welcome back to Monday Makes Plate. My name's Marie. Let's jump in with the new new. All right, I did pick up two things makeup related this week. The first one is this Organic Wear Physicians Formula Mascara. They're 100% natural origin fake out mascara in ultra black. This was influenced by Malika from Naturally Malika. I'll link her video below. She did a great demo, and it really looked like it gave her lashes lift, which is what I'm always looking for in a mascara product. The first thing that I really liked about the mascara is that the brush really allows you to control the product, and it doesn't seem to get on my eyelid, which is one of my problems all the time. I did go ahead and pick up my tried and true Honest Company mascara at the same time from Amazon because I always need to have a backup of that. I just do in case something else doesn't work out. But I'm really liking this and it was $8 I believe on Amazon. So, so far so good. I did have a, a little impulse buy and that was these Fit Glow Mini Lip Serum Trios that they just released. They have two different sets. I picked it up with my friend Danielle's code, Cruelty Free Vegan Beauty. I think it's, I'll link it below. I can't remember it exactly, but it came out to 20 some dollars with free shipping. So um, I had always wanted to try one of the shades in this trio and that is the Beach Glow. So here they are up close. So this is Buff, Beach Glow, and Kind. So I love the Fit Glow Lip Serums. I'm going to just say right off the bat, these shades do not show up well on tan skin. The Kind shade is a very nice nude, and it gives you that barely there, my lips but better look, evens out the tone. But if you're looking for glosses that actually have pigmentation and you have like Fitzpatrick 4 or below, I wouldn't necessarily go with these shades. But I like them, I'm gonna use them. They were, they're fun. Um, they would make such a cute stocking stuffer, wouldn't they? Now, let's go on to favorites and flops. start with the flop. It was definitely this. And I purchased this over six months ago because when my baby came out, he was late. He had cracked skin and I wanted something to, I wanted a lotion. I didn't want something heavy and oily. Um, and so I picked this up. It smells awful. It smells, it's like the first bit of scent is supposed to be like honey I think but then it just smells off and weird and not good and so I've tried to use it on my legs to use it up because it's a gigantic container we're going on six months now I've barely made a dent in it I tried using it as a cream cleanser but the scent is so bad that I can't because it lingers around and so it's going in the trash and I'm very sorry about it because it feels extremely wasteful, but it smells awful and I've tried for six months and I just don't want to use it anymore. Okay, my favorite. Now, I recently did a review on this brand, L'Amour, from Mongolia, and I talked about this healing salve. Well, just this week, I busted it out three times. One was for a bee sting. Now, if you're not familiar with bee stings, we haven't had a bee sting recently. They always welt over and they always itch really badly. For me anyway, personally. So my son got a bee sting, we cleaned it up, we put this on overnight with a band-aid on top. The next morning, check out what his leg looked like. This is 12 hours later. It didn't welt, it didn't itch, it healed up really nicely. I was so pleased. Um, one of the ingredients in here is thyme, but it also has their beautiful tallow in it. You know, just super nourishing and healing and restorative to the skin. Love this product. All right, let's introduce a new segment called In the Media. In the media will be anything from the media, like a TV show, an Instagram account, a great YouTube video. And so, yes, let's start it off with an HBO show called The Deuce. 
So this show just wrapped its final season. There's only three seasons. It's set in Times Square in the 1970s, and it focuses on the porn industry. I'll tell you right now, if you're familiar with HBO, you know you're just going to see a lot of skin. It is very rare in the entire three seasons that you ever see um, sex portrayed in a romantic fashion. A lot of times it can get graphic. Um, and some of obviously the content they're talking about is graphic. However, um, James Franco stars in it with Maggie Gyllenhaal. And it's really interesting. Um, because the way the show is set up, this is one of the things that I find to be the most interesting, is the show is set up is that you see the first season, and then the second season is five years later. And then the third season is five years after that. So you see like a very interesting development of the characters. Um, and then you also see a development of New York at that time, and then also of the porn industry. And then in the final season, what they transition to talking about is in somewhat is the AIDS epidemic. Um, so if you're into, if you can handle the fact that they're talking about porn, it's really well done. Now let's move into aesthetics. All right, now I'm about to tell you about the only skincare item that has given me visible anti-aging results. Are you ready? Here it comes. Ding! I know, not everybody thinks these work. However, I was noticing that in this area, I was starting to have some sagging. So much so, that I purchased a zip, one of those facial current stimulators, because I was like starting to have a lot of anxiety about this area because I was noticing a droop that was starting to droop down here. And so I picked up the zip. I could never get myself to use it because I'm just lazy. And then I gave it away in a giveaway. And then recently, because I've been making this facial oil of my own, I've started using this and I've been using it for months now and I use it every night but I have noticed three amazing results first up I have noticed a smoothing of this area and not as much of a drooping um, and what I've also noticed is how a lot of the areas on my face that I'm not pleased with right here right here is a direct result of what I'm doing with my face throughout the day. So I have TMJ. And so I noticed when I started doing this consistently that part of the thing that was going on was that the muscle in my jaw was really tight. And so as I started doing this every night, as I started rolling this out, and we're talking about doing it for months here, we're not talking about like a week trial or um, once, is I started to notice this going away and I also started to notice um, a lot of relaxation in this area. Then move up here and I noticed that I squint a lot in the day because I don't always have my sunglasses on and I live in a place where it's super hot and sunny. So I started doing this every day and I've started to and I started to notice that the muscle here was super overworked from doing this. So the last thing that I started to notice was that the circulation was definitely increasing in my face and I started to notice an increase in firmness. I was kind of like shocked and I was like, is it the jade rolling? Like, why is my face feeling firmer? But friends, I swear by this guy. My favorite brand is Ginger Chi. I'll link them below. I don't recommend spending like $35 on one that looks exactly like the ones you would purchase from China. I don't recommend purchasing just any random one. I recommend the Ginger Chi. I've tried a lot, I've broken a lot, I've been disappointed with a lot, and I recommend the Ginger Chi. They also make a tiny one, which I have and couldn't find, that's just this one. And I think that's $11, and that's what I started with. But when I really got into it, I picked up the bigger one. Anyway, 
you want my anti-aging secrets that I'm working on, that I'm using, I recommend that. All right, now in the science corner, we have an interesting video from a doctor talking about the impossible burger. So in the video, the doctor is talking about the health implications of the impossible burger. He's saying as physicians, should they be recommending the impossible burger? Is it healthier than meat? Now, if you're not familiar, the Impossible Burger is a plant-based burger that looks and smells and supposedly tastes exactly like meat. Now, what he goes on to say in the video is that for nutrition-wise, for protein and fat-based, the Impossible Burger is pretty much a match for an actual burger. Um, so he's saying from a health perspective, there's no reason why you would recommend the Impossible Burger over the uh, regular meat burger. So one thing that he does go on to talk about is how inside the Impossible Burger is this thing called legu heme, which is derived from soybeans, and it actually is what gives the Impossible Burger that color. And it was only recently approved by the FDA as a food colorant. Now, what he interestingly points out is there is not a lot of information about it. It was only recently approved and it's presumed to be safe. Science can be very interesting sometimes and a very little amount of information over here about legu heme, they deem it safe. But now we turn over here to this video I watched about two OBGYNs answering your the most common pregnancy and breastfeeding questions. And in it, this very well-renowned, um, prestigious OBGYN says that, of course, no alcohol should be consumed in pregnancy, but they're also recommending that in breastfeeding, they, women don't consume alcohol as well. And now the reason I find that interesting is because I'd never heard that before about not consuming alcohol during breastfeeding. I've heard a little bit is okay, you wait a certain amount of time, and you know, it should be out of your system, shouldn't be transferred to the baby. So I was like, wow, that's interesting. Here we have two different scientific approaches about information. Over here, we're presuming the legu heme that's been approved by the FDA as a food colorant is safe even though we don't know much about it, even though it hasn't really been around for very long. And over here, we're saying to breastfeeding moms that no alcohol is okay because we don't know much about it. And I just thought, like, whatever you think about either of those topics, but it's, science is just funny, isn't it? Anyway, that's just me blabbering on about how science can be so unscientific at times. Okay, so for our last full segment, I want to talk about the Mindful Minute. woman named Jordan Page. She's a mom blogger. She talks basically about frugal living and she's really excellent at it. And so one thing she talks about doing is a spending freeze. It's where you load up your fridge with groceries, you put gas in your car, and then you don't spend any money for a week. I found that very interesting. And so I wanted to try it out in our family, not with completely not spending money, but just without going to Costco. So we had just gone to Costco last week and I wanted to see, and we usually go every week. And so I wanted to see, could we push it two weeks? Cause we had enough milk and we had enough meat in the freezer and um, frozen vegetables that I thought if we got really creative, we could do it. Now we try to eat all of our meals made by ourselves, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, because what you may not know is groceries in Hawaii uh, will kill your budget. And so one of the things that I've been trying to do and get prepared for for 2020 is, you know, being really conscious of our spending. And so I was like, can we push it? Can we not go to Costco this week? Right? Can we save that extra couple hundred dollars? It was rough. I'm gonna tell you right now, it was rough. It was so rough at one point that I made this, which is what I call a dumpling salad, which was all I had left at the very end of the week to eat. Um, but we did it. It was hard. And I had to get really creative, but we did it and I was very impressed. And I was just like, okay, 
Okay, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel where we can start shaving. It would be really ambitious, but we could start shaving like $400 off our food budget. That's it for this week. I should have a video up on Friday. We'll see. Let me leave you with a few Maui moments.